Welcome back. In the last video, we imported some Google Earth images that included a soil map overlay into SketchUp for use in landscape and farm planning. In this video, we're going to design an agroforestry planting with chestnuts, pawpaws, and a layer of berries. I thought it would be fun to use Tom Wall's design uh, from a couple of weeks ago, the Nutshell series, uh, as our, as our uh, example here. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to select all, and I want to reorient this base map to these axes. I'm going to come over here to this rotate tool. I want my tree rows to be parallel to this tree line. So I'm just going to click here, click again, and then rotate this whole thing so it snaps to that green axis. That's going to allow us to lay things out a lot easier later on. Great, now that we got that, I'm going to add a layer called field border and make sure that I'm clicked on that to work in here. And then I'm going to come up to this pencil tool. And I, I want this to be a true outline. So I'm going to go right in the middle of the tree line. I'm going to come down here, going to come across. And of course, this is up to you where you define your field along the fence line. I'm going to close this in. Great. Uh, one neat thing is if you click on this and you can see sort of the area, if you come up here, it'll tell you what the square footage is. So 63,000 square feet is roughly an acre and a half, and you can do the math there. A uh, useful little tool. I'm going to make this a group and, uh, and then make sure that I'm clicked on the group. Now I'm going to do an offset. So I'm going to come over to this offset tool and from the edge, uh, let me undo that. I'm going to click on the edge and I can bring this in, you see, or take it out. This is useful if you're doing an equipment turnaround or if you want to, you know, build a fence and you want to keep the fence a certain distance away from the edge of the field. I'm going to do a 25 foot offset. So click and then type 25 feet. And I can see that that's about the edge of my tree line here. That's great. Okay, now I'm going to do some uh, some guidelines here, and I'm, I'm going to use this tape measure tool. It's really useful because then later on you can uh, take these off. I want to set this at 10 feet, so I'm going to go in and type 10 feet. Our rows are going to be 20 feet across, but that's uh, this is half of that first row. We also are going to have a shrub layer in between here at 10 feet, if I understood Tom correctly. So I'm just going to pull a couple of these off at 10 feet. We don't have to do the whole thing, but that'll give us kind of an idea. You can see these guidelines will extend past your, your model. Great, now we're ready to start adding trees. So I'm going to add a chestnut layer and make sure that I'm working in that layer. And I'm going to come up to this round circle tool. And on my first guide here. Just go ahead and click and click anywhere. Now I want my chestnuts to be, I want this model to be about a 15 foot diameter. So I'm going to choose a 7.5 foot radius. They get bigger than this, but for looking at this map, that'll be pretty good. I can color this now if I'd like. Let's pick a nice chestnut color here. What do we think? Uh, something like that. And then I'm going to make this a component. So make sure it's highlighted. Make component. We can call this chestnut. Chestnut. Hit enter, and uh, I'm going to move. I'm going to move this up just a little bit here, so it matches with the top. Great. Now here comes a really fun part, and one of the reasons why SketchUp is so awesome. I like to move from the middle here, so uh, it won't let me just get it unless I infer from the outside by hovering a little bit. If I click here, you can see I can just move it, but if I hit control, it'll make a copy. And um, as long as I'm snapped along this line, I can click anywhere. And then I want these 20 feet apart, so I'm going to type 20 feet. And then the really cool thing is I can, I can hit X, so like times, and then say whatever number. So I'm going to put times 8, and it'll make 8 copies along the line that I, I did here. So you can see you can you can very quickly make uh, a lot of copies of something. So I'm actually going to select that whole row now and do the same thing to copy my rows. I'm going to make sure that I have got the middle. 
hit control. Now this is our halfway mark, the 10 foot. So I'm gonna to go to the next, the next 10 foot, which would be 20. Uh, I'm gonna click and then hit times 12. Okay, well that wasn't quite enough. So I'm just gonna type times 13. And that's closer, isn't it? Great, so now I filled out my whole field in just a, just a few seconds. And uh, so you can see it can be very quick. Great, let's do a pawpaw layer now. I'm gonna add pawpaw, enter, and make sure I'm on that pawpaw layer. And um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start in the middle of one of these chestnuts and that'll give me the right, the right uh, reference point. For my chestnuts, I'm gonna do a 2.5 foot radius. I would like to color them green. Let's do green, nice dark green. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I make this a component. We'll call it pawpaw, hit enter. I'm going to move this down in between and uh, it is the center and the component, it's 10 feet. And then I can do the same thing I did with the chestnuts now. Uh, keep it on the move tool and from the center hit control so it makes a copy I can move it down type in 20 feet and then say times what did I say seven and that puts one in between each each row now here's where layers come in handy to copy this row across I can come up here to my my layers and I can turn off the chestnut layer, and that'll make it easier to select this pawpaw layer. I'm going to copy it across, just like I did with the chestnuts. And again, we're going to the second line. Make sure you hit Control. And, uh, and then I'm going to hit times 13. Let's turn the chestnut layer back on. And so now we have our pawpaws and our chestnuts already laid out. Great, let's do berries. Add a layer, honey berry, enter. Make sure I'm on that layer. I'm gonna come up to the circle tool again. I'd like my honey berries to be 1.5 feet for a radius. I'm gonna color it purple. Let's make it a component. Uh, let's right click, make component. We'll call it honey berry. I'm going to adjust so that it is up on this line and then make my copies. Drag it down, make sure it's snapped to the line, hit control. I want these three feet apart, type three feet, and then let's say times 50. That wasn't quite enough, let's do 60. Yeah, 55, perfect, okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the berries. I'm gonna turn off the chestnut and the pawpaw layer here so that I can just select this berry layer. And then I'm going to move it across. Get that center, just like working from the center. Hit control, make sure that you're on that red axis. And then uh, I can zoom out and look, what did I say, 13? Perfect, let's turn our chestnut on and our pawpaw on. And now we've got our whole layout in just a few seconds, a um, few minutes. I can come back in and erase these later, the, the ones that sort of overshot, but it's easier to erase than it is to add things in. Okay, so you'll notice real quick that uh, it does this funny layer color thing. This is because SketchUp is telling us that these are on the same plane. I'm gonna address how to print this all out later, but if you wanna look at just your um, just your plants, you can unclick those other layers. Great, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.